Let's do one more though. A significant donation. That surprised you? Not at all. You have a long and impressive history of philanthropy. I can think of three programs off the top of my head that could benefit from your support. Why do I get the impression that you, you don't want to say anything? Why do you think, Sonny? Well, any, any donation for me is coming from a legitimate enterprise and also investment. I figure, but one needs to be sure. And does one want to ask me any more questions? Just one? Why come to me? Because you are the deputy mayor. You're going to know, right, where to put my money. And we both have children that are having a baby together. And that means a lot to me. How are things progressing with Will? Um, incrementally. I mean, she came into Drew's office when we were going over the crimson budget. And when I went to leave them, she stopped me. What'd she say? She said if Drew and I can manage to be civil to one another after everything I did to him, then maybe she was holding on to her anger at me a little too long, and maybe, just maybe, she can let some of those bad feelings go. Wow, that seems more than incremental. Yeah, I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but right? What did you say? Well, I thanked her for saying that, and then I got the hell out of there before I started making lunch plans and offering to babysit. What? What? What did I do? No, 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 no. You're fine. I'm just, uh, I'm worried. Who knows what poison Drew is putting in Willow's ear about you. Oh, he's not. Not if he knows what's good for him. Willow, I can't tell you how happy and honored I am that you're willing to work with me tomorrow, Institute. Great. <laughs> it's just that there's... There's, there's been something that's been kind of bugging me. Okay. I, I know that I sprung this on you, like, out of nowhere, and it just occurred to me that maybe that you feel pressure to say yes, because... Because you went to Greenland to rescue my Aunt Liesel and brought her back to Port Charles in time to save my life. Well, yeah. And I would never want you to feel a sense of obligation to me. You don't owe me anything. Drew, I literally owe you my life. And that's why I'm having second thoughts. Calvin, I told you that I took today off so that I could move into my new apartment. You did. And now you've assigned all the new cadets to help me move. Well, it's just a few boxes. But you're not allowing them to use the elevator. You're making them bring said boxes up three flights of stairs. Now you can't get a good cardiovascular workout on an elevator, can you? No. Okay, I really appreciate the gesture, but I'm telling you, if 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 I get in trouble with internal affairs, I am so taking you down with me. Well, this is my doing. And I take full responsibility. So if I do go down for this, you'll be in the clear with some shiny new recruits in the best shape of their young lives. I can't have Donna staying the night over at Sonny's. Between Ava being there and Sonny going on and on about how I'm a traitor, it is not good for Donna emotionally. That's that's reasonable. So I went to tell Sonny, but Ava was there. And then she tried kicking me out, which is crazy. It's like Ava thinks she's mistress of the manor or something. Maybe she thinks she is. Sonny was furious. And I expected that. I really did. But I was hoping once he got past his initial reaction that he would understand my position and respect it. But that's not what happened. He just became more and more irrational. He even threatened to take me to family court, which is absurd. Yeah, no, that's, that's crazy. He has to know that he would lose that. He should. And because he didn't, it made me think, is Sonny off his meds? Thought about that, too. I asked him. He swears he's taking his medication. I even went into his bathroom. I went through his medicine drawer. I checked his prescriptions. It looks like he's taking them. Okay, but how did you react to that? He said just because we disagree about what to do with Donna, that doesn't mean he's going off his meds. And he has a point. I may hate the way Sonny's living and the choices he's making, but that doesn't mean he's headed for a breakdown. 